We perform, my um, colleagues, uh, Dr. Alison Barakoff, uh, one of my PhD students and I, along with some of our colleagues from around the world, reviewed this very challenging topic recently in the British Journal of Haematology. We have found that, you know, in our review that there is real controversy, not only in the diagnosis of these patients, but also in the treatment and the outcomes. And it is a very rare population. Um, and the diagnostic controversies in particular are that of the um, current um, form of, of grading um, of follicular lymphoma, which we know with immunohistochemistry um, has very poor concordance across different laboratories um, and, and pathology reviews. And so even getting the diagnosis right is challenging. And there are some preliminary data using some of the more modern technologies, uh, such as genomics, um, to try and better characterize these patients. But without accuracy in our diagnosis, and also with it being a spectrum where some of these patients have um, coexisting low-grade follicular lymphoma, while others have diffuse large B-cell lymphoma at the same time, it is very difficult to then form this population um, and come up with a treatment strategy uh, that's a one-size-fits-all. These patients are often excluded from both the low-grade follicular lymphoma studies, which uh, only recruit grade 1, 2 and 3A, but also the high-grade diffuse large B-cell lymphoma studies. Historically, it's thought that these this disease behaves more like an aggressive diffuse large B-cell lymphoma type um, biology, but there do appear to be some indolent patterns of, of relapsing, for example, where these patients continue to relapse um, many years into the future, which contrasts that of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma where most relapses occur in the first two years after completing treatment. We don't know how to treat these patients specifically. We also don't know how to prognosticate them and we need to do more to, um, to improve the diagnostics and the prognostication so that then we can improve their treatment and the outcomes.